Hey everyone, Tragic MTG here, and today I've got a double dose of one of every Modern Masters set, including a Modern Horizons pack. And the reason for the double dose is because the first time I did this, the audio crapped out immediately, and so I ended up with a video with no sound. Um, so I can't just leave it at that. I'm going to uh, do this again. And I'm going to keep an eye on the sound bar and make sure it keeps going. Um, but real quick, I'll give you the highlights from the first one. Here we go. Ooh. Ah. Cool. There's a good one. Oh, I like those. Awesome. Yes, that was great. Well, there you have it. That was the first set of packs and ended up with uh, a pretty good haul. I got a Force of Negation. Oops, let's start over here. A Dak Faden, a Graph Digger's Cage, a Fulminator Mage, a Bridge from Below, and a Lightning Bolt and some other stuff. Um, so now let's go for round two and see how well we can do with this second set. And... Just to double check. Still got sound. Excellent. I'm like super paranoid now that it's just going to cut out again. What do we got here? We'll go pretty quick here through this Iconic Masters set of commons. I think Mindstone, I might scan it. It is probably not going to be 90 cents, but we will pull it anyway. Uncommons, Coordinated Assault, Angelic Accord, Bladewing the Risen. And a Savage Born Hydra is uh, pay X and a red and a green, and you get a Hydra with double strike. Savage Born Hydra enters the battlefield with X, 1-1 one, one counters on it. You can pay 1 and a red and a green, or a green, and put a 1-1 one, one counter on Savage Born Hydra. Activate this ability only anytime you can cast a sorcery. Not a big one there. A foil, earth elemental, and a bird token. Next up, original Modern Masters. Uh, let's see here. We got a Brute Force, an Empirosaur, a Stinkweed Imp. That's a. We're going to pull that one actually. I think that one's okay. Hanakami. Fairy Mechanist. Alright, Uncommon's Masked Admirers, Auntie's Snitch, Electrolyze, and a Stone Hewer Giant. Electrolyze, we might scan that one too. Three and two white giant warrior with uh, four four vigilance. Pay one and a white. Search your library for an equipment card and put it onto the battlefield. Attach it to a creature you control. Then shuffle your library. And we got a foil festering uh, goblin. It's a zombie goblin, right? And a goblin rogue token. All right. Next up, ultimate masters. Out oh, the pull tab again. Yep, I can never get it to go all the way down. And the backwards pack order, Spark Elemental Token, Walker of the Grove Foil, and a Magus of the Bazaar is not a great one. For one and a blue, Human Wizard 001, you can tap it to draw two cards, then discard three cards. Nice try, Magus of the Bazaar. You're no bizarre trade mage. Fiend Hunter, Malevolent Whispers, Phalanx Leader, and some commons. Nothing big there, probably. Yep. All right, moving along to Modern Masters 2015 with the zipper. I mean, it's nice and easy to open, at least. And you got an ad for some clothes on the back of your Thrill token. And nice shiny cardstock on these. Brute Force Cathodian. And the uncommon is a Scargan Firebird. Used to be a rare. Oblivion Ring. Another Electrolyze. And All Sun's Dawn. For four and a green, it's a sorcery. For each color, return up to one target card of that color from your graveyard to your hand and exile All Sun's Dawn. 
Smoke Braider is the foil. Next, I have a feeling that this stack of packs is not going to be quite as good as my first go through, which is why it's so unfortunate I lost the uh, audio on that. Oh well, YouTube life. Faithless Looting, we'll pull that one. Pacifism, Tranquil Cove. Boy, look at this. Three of these into the battlefield tap lands. The gain one life land. Uh, Kurt Ape, I might scan that one. Glimmer Point Stag, Tooth and Claw, Zealous Persecution, and a Siege Gang Commander. Three and two red. It's a two two goblin creature. When Siege Gang Commander enters the battlefield, put three one one red goblin creature tokens onto the battlefield. Pay one and a red, sacrifice a goblin. Siege Gang Commander deals two damage to target creature or player. This one's in standard right now. Grave Digger is the foil and an elemental token. Next up, Modern Master is 2017. Can we get a fetchy out of here? Pilgrim, Slime, Rotworm, Lancer, other stuff. Urban Evolution, Simic Signet, Moroi. And Death Shadow, all right, that's solid. For one black, you get a creature, an avatar creature. It's a 13-13, where it gets minus X, minus X, where X is your life total. That's probably the best we've pulled so far out of these set of packs. And a foil slime molding, an ooze token. Next up, Modern Horizons. I was... Nice to see that packed in negation out of the last one. Hopefully we can do just as good, if not better. Probably not. Let's see. Artwork is a Spinehorn Minotaur. Got a snow-covered island. And a Lightning Skelemental. Black, two red for a 6-1 Elemental Skeleton with Trample and Haste. Whenever Lightning Skelemental deals combat damage to a player, that player discards two cards. At the beginning of the end step, sacrifice Lightning Skelemental. I think it's a solid card. Uh, another solid card, the first Sliver's Chosen. Uh, this one's a beast. Sliver creatures you control have exalted. Give them trample and push them on through. And we got a Goblin Aura Flame and a Birthing Bows. And some other Modern Horizons. Fun stuff in the commons. Okay, one more here. Uh, Masters 25. Horror of the Broken Lands. Again, I really like the logos in the text box. Dirge of Dread. Said McKinnon art, you can just recognize it anywhere it goes. No counter spell this time around. Spike Shot Goblin. Swords of Plowshares, that's a pull. Zulaport Cutthroat and an Elvish Piper. Three and a green. Elf Shaman, one one creature. Pay green, tap it. You may put a creature card from your hand onto the battlefield. And a Loyal Sentry is the rare from, is that starter set? The star there? That's cool. And a Goblin Token. All right, let's uh, scan up these rares and these decent uncommons and commons and see if we can add to this total swords of plowshares buck 27 uh and of course it's a different version i'm not going to switch it snow covered island 84 cents curd ape nope 17 cents back in the commons pile faithless looting buck there Electrolyze a couple of them. Nothing really big there. I'm gonna skip those. A stinkweed imp. That's over a buck. All right, here's the rares. Elvish Piper. 288. Lightning Skelemental. Three something. Death Shadow. Oops. Only got one of them. Let's take that off. Minus one. 1147 for the Death Shadow. Siege Gang Commander. Not a big one. All Sun's Dawn. 
Definitely not a big one. Megas of the bar. Bizarre. Yeah, it's actually a little more than I thought. Let's see, what's the Ultimate Masters version? A lot less. 27 cents. Stone Hero Giant. 781 for the Morning Tide. And it is not going to show me. 823 for the uh, Modern Masters version, apparently. And a Savage Born Hydra. 62 cents or so there you have it definitely did better on the first set of packs as you saw um, but at least I got some audio for this second part anyway thanks for watching this travesty of a show as usual make sure to hit the like button and comment down below and check out my other videos and have a great day